Hello everyone, welcome back. This video is going to discuss the advantages of using a synchronous rectifier versus a diode in a buck regulator. I already have the uh, regulator designed using Ridley Works. Take a look at the specifications here. Uh, our input voltages, output voltage, output current, and we have already designed it so I'm not going to go through the design procedure. What's going to be interesting is to see what happens to the efficiency power drops if we go from a standard diode to a synchronous rectifier. So let's get into this. If we have already done a steady state so we get our all our losses correct, we go into the diode and we can see that we have established a 0.439 volt drop across the diode. And we have an on resistance of 1 milliohm. If we look at the power dissipation, it's 3.128 watts. Now according to Dr. Ridley, he says to use a synchronous rectifier, set the forward voltage drop to 0.1 millivolts. So let's do that and see what happens. But before we do that, let's look at the efficiency. 90.67%. Going back to our diode, we'll make this 0.1231. And we have to click update. Now let's watch this power dissipation number here and it goes down to 71 milliwatts versus 3 watts. If we click OK, converter efficiency of 96.09 percent. We could go back and say well my RDS on is really 10 milliohms. Click update. Nothing much happened here to our power dissipation. The efficiency is at 94.92 percent. So we can see the advantages of taking a diode out and putting in a FET for as a synchronous rectifier. The methods for doing this are not going to be discussed in this video. That will be done probably at a later video. But this is to show you that Ridleyworks can give you many, much information ahead of actually going into the lab and twisting wires and creating boards. We can get much closer to our final design using Ridleyworks than by spending days and days and days in the lab putting parts in, taking parts out. This gives us a very good head start. I suggest uh, using this tool whenever possible. It will definitely save you a lot of time, money, and resources. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. For those of you who may not be aware of Dr. Ridley's many accomplishments and the offers he have here for teaching and instructing in switch mode power supply and other topics, please visit his, his website at www.ridleyengineering.com. There's a potpourri of information available to you. I would suggest that you register, log in, and then you can go over to some places like the Design Center. There's a wealth of information here on various topics in development, construction, care, and maintenance of switch mode power supplies. Please uh, go to his website and check it out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.